Well, good morning. So, in the past couple of videos, when we've tested, we've jumped right into a pre-existing character. Today, I thought I would show you the beginning, creation, and the first few quests. So, we are at the intro screen, which we have, um... A disclaimer about this being a fictional work. We have something about... Okay, the New World team consulted with experts and our diverse workforce on the depictions of the cultures we've drawn from. And we'll continue to do so as we add more in the future. Um, we also have a photosensitive seizure warning because there could be some bright flashes or, or something in the game that might trigger people with seizure conditions. Alright, so, continue. And here's our intro screen. So we'll continue. Alright, so, great character. And let's see, we cannot put a character on the any Tau server or any new server. Uh, basically, the servers are broken up into sets, world sets, and certain servers are on different sets. So we have Tau, New, Ada, Omega, Psi, and Ultra. And if you have a character on a set, like I have a character on Tau and Nu, I cannot choose another server in either of those world sets. Only one character per world set. And only four characters total per region. If I'm reading that right. Alright, so let's find... Oh, what's... Uh, oh. The mascara is on new. I can't do that one. Um, what else? What else sounds good here? Uh, Xanadu is on Ada. Let's go by population. That helps. Okay, Xanadu and Thul both seem to have decent. All right, so which one? Uh, not Atlantis. That supposedly the server people chose to do a lot of PvP on. Uh, let's go with, let's go with Thul. It sounds interesting. All right. Yes, I know. I can only have one character in the Arcadia Chai world set. So, that, that's what I'm saying here. So, I would have to delete this character if I wanted to make another character in a Chai world set. Alright. Yes, I understand. Now. Here's the intro screen. And it can be skipped, but I will let y'all watch it. stories you've heard they don't tell the whole truth the island is indeed the place of legend there's power 
and vast riches as well. But those who've gone before you have simply vanished, never heard from again. I saw the horror, the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. Okay, so now we're in the character creation, and we start with body type, and I want a female. Um, choose a face, and I am... Going to go with my default and before I go any further there thank you <laughs> skin tone um, as you can see we have a variety of skin tones from um, very dark to very pale I am going to go uh, a little darker than very pale Hairstyles and uh, let's see what we're gonna pick. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think so. Well, that one's okay. Isn't something I usually pick? Oh, okay not really century specific but or kind of like it okay we'll stick with that one eye color Colors. We can also do slightly more unusual colors, like red. Let's give her well, some bright green eyes. Oh, I like that. All right, let's go with that one. And we got some features. Not many features, but boy, that's the most freckly face I've ever seen. Interesting. We're gonna do just give her a smattering of freckles. I like that. Can choose a few scars. Ooh. Yeah, she got pretty beat up in that one. really look like you're gonna see most of her most scars with that hair let's pull her hair back for a minute so we can see the scars shall we so let's go and pull her hair back all right now back to scars as you can see she's got some scarring 
along her cheek and her lip. Alright, so we got one that runs across her face this way. One that's more like a... Wow, that's pretty nasty. Ow. That looks like a animal attack. And that one is right here. This one is an eye. Okay. That's a pretty deep gash. There's that one that we started with. Another one that's up here. That one goes right across her cheeks and the bridge of her nose. And of course, this one, which is, well, really looks like she got attacked by something. Let's go with, we'll go with that. That's simple. Alright, there's also a variety of tattoos, which, I mean, we could look at them, but I'm really, it, you can see that there's some facial tattoos, so there's that, there's that, ew, um, no. For anybody that was interested in face tattoos, there's that. Oh, look, a constellation. No, okay, so I'm not really into the tattoos. We'll... So I think we're done. Go back, change her hair back to what I want it. Okay, so we go to next. Name your character. Let's see, what should I name her? Alright. Name her Abigene. Don't know why. Just something off the top of my head. Or I could see if I could find another version of variation of Arlena. Alright. Yes. Yes, I know. I cannot change the name or her appearance. Entering the game world for the first time. Not bad. Oh, that was a very low wait time. Let's see. Alright, so this is the tutorial screen. And usually I would just skip right through this because it is so annoying. It can be done. I will show you real quick. Now if I were to hit escape, game menu, this is skip to new world. You would go directly into whatever world you're going to, or whatever territory you're going to be dropped into. But we'll go through this tutorial once, just to show you what it looks like. All right. So it's going to pretty much handhold you through the whole thing. Draw your weapon. 
right mouse click to block. Left mouse click is attack. Left shift is dodge. Hold your left... So, pretty basic so far. You! Come closer. Your, your captain, captain needs, needs you. you. There's something wrong. I'm not feeling right. No kidding, dude. You're not feeling right. That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat! Something isn't right. To come so close... It's not fair. What, what's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. All right. So Captain Thorpe has died an inglorious death, and let's take all his loot. All right, so. All right. So, we have put the food in the three slot. We hit three, we eat. Now, jump allows you to move over objects. Okay. Now remember. And, you know, if we didn't hadn't just done the tutorial, it's going to remind us how to fight. Okay. Okay. Let's pause. That's some nasty looking stuff. Uh, and we are in a ship graveyard. Pretty much. And the residents of those ships have. Uh, Let's just say they refuse to stay dead. Ah! All right. A lot of ships in this graveyard, which of course makes you wonder just how long have people been getting stranded on this island. Long time. A very long time. A very, very long time. So, here's our weapon mastery screen. Each weapon gets its own points. So, you're not worried about, okay, I have these points, but which weapon do I want to put them in? If you're using a weapon, it gets its own set of points. 
So we are going to go sword and shield. And we're going to go to the sword master tree. Now, we're going to go run up here. Auto run is the equal sign. Met. Cinematically, they've done a pretty nice job with this. Look at that. Very interesting. Back down. And to the heart of corruption. Where? We will run into our first fight with our former captain. Anyway, that's the tutorial, and it kind of gives you a little backstory for your character's arrival to the world. Alright, so let's see what achievement reward I have claimed. Alright. Alright. Where did we wind up? We are We're at Everfall. Okay. Now I've noticed that Everfall being the middle of the map and generally also tends to be the hub of financial activity in this game. Which is kind of interesting. Um, okay. So, let's grab a piece of plant here. Go up to safety. Where we'll raid the supply cache. Right off the bat, let's, let's go grab some stuff. We'll look at this note. There have been even more of these violent storms of late. 
I hear the crash of thunder and see the bolts of red lightning in the distance from my place at the watchtower. I am haunted that I cannot do a thing but wait to see if survivors wash up on my shore. Half of those who do wash up here are often too broken to be of any use, well on their way to becoming a drowned or withered. Am I truly so powerless as to not be able to do anything for them? Well, somebody's feeling a little bit of despair there. Not that I blame him. Or is this a her? Nope. Okay. This one's male. Alright, so let's talk to the Leeson. Hello there. Rough landing, <laughs> wasn't it? Um, wow. You're actually looking quite healthy, all things considered. <laughs> Luckier than most. <laughs> oh, no. Well, a long, long time ago I was, but I've been here for one, three, four, three, 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 many years. Watch a lace and race at your service. <laughs> I like this one. I like this guy. I've been here for many years. So he's been here so long that he's lost count of how long he's been here. It's nice to meet you as well. Though, to be completely honest, I wish it were under better circumstances. See, um, it would be nice if I could offer you a cup of mead and say, Welcome to Eternum. But this isn't really a welcoming party. I came from the Everfall settlement to check the beach after the nasty storm that sank your ship. And to deal with your less, um, fortunate crewmates, I suppose. Ah, well, <laughs> you came through death all right. But they came back soulless lost, the drowned. It's an unpleasant task. But I could use help at least trying to put them back to rest. If you're willing, of course. Well, you know, I got nothing better to do. Sure. All right, so... Let's go into our character screen. We have two points available. So, uh, for the moment, I am going to put both those points in Constitution. Because, you know, one, I'd like to stay alive. Two, since I'm not really at the weapons I usually t tend to use in this game, which is the rapier and the fire staff. I don't want to put any points up here until I really need to. Alright. So, that is character creation and the tutorial. And the intro. Now, one thing, there is something that really does irk me about this game. It is how you start off in the world. You do not select the territory you start off in. The game drops you where it wants. And if we look at the map, the main places that people get dropped at are Everfall. Monarch's Bluff, Windsward, First Light. Those are the four main starter zones. While I understand from the lore or story perspective that if your ship crashes into an island, you're really not going to have a choice where you start off at from a I want to play with some friends aspect this is the biggest pain in the butt in the world because you might in a, you might start off in Everfall like I have but your friend that has started off at the same exact time might end up in first light now there are a couple ways to get around this one of them is to risk your butt to run all the way across the map 
through mobs that are much higher level than you and will just eat you alive. Um, or somebody has to delete a character, re-roll it, and keep doing that until yeah, people end up in the same place. I have repeatedly asked if there is a way that they could create or, or give us a way to select a zone if we're playing with friends so that friends can start in the same zone so they can do things together. I'm sure plenty of other people have asked too because it's a big complaint on forums. We'll see if they actually hear us or not. Anyway, that's my gripe for the day. And I think that's enough for the moment. So we'll stop here. And next time we will do the starter quest. Alright, bye for now.